augmented reality. That's right, it's the newest tech craze captivating the country. And one new app is taking it to the next level, creating 3D dimensional holograms of you. Here to discuss, Rob Gronkowski. He's the tight end for the New England Patriots. Of course, he's a two-time Super Bowl champion, Jeremy Green, founder and CEO of Moji. Uh, gentlemen, thanks and welcome to the show. Thank you yes, so much. Thank you, right, so, Rob, how did you get into this? I mean, 3D uh, uh, emojis, uh, holograms. How did you get into this? Yes, uh, Jeremy and I, uh, we met and everything, and uh, he brought it to my attention, uh, this app about the uh, virtual expression app. and. What's so cool about it is is creating your own avatar. He brought it to me. I already use avatars. I send them to my friends, and he showed me how it works. Uh, you talk into the phone. Your avatar pops up from the screen, does all the emotions that you're doing, all the expressions you're doing, and you send it to your friend, to your buddies, uh, to whoever it is. And it's just some way that I just can incorporate uh, messaging to my friends in a fun way. So it becomes sort of a personal representation of you. Yes, that's a, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes. And it, and anyone so. If I create one, it would be my own unique... So, so it'd be like this. So you can create your own custom avatar that looks just like you, and then you could send it in a Snapchat-like type setting to another friend. Once they receive it, you would then rise up from the floor and be like, hey, what's up, how's it going, and this would disappear. So literally, it's the creation of you. It's the digital version of yourself. And it rises up off the floor. Yes, and it literally can... And not to mention... You can customize everything. You can buy shoes, shirts, T-shirts. Everything is all customizable to be exactly who you are. So this takes like, like I know like a lot of these celebrities, they can they'll, they'll put something on, on Instagram and get mm -hmm. paid a, bit, a bunch of money. This, this changes the game in a lot of ways. It's not just a communication device. There's a lot of applications for this. Yeah, so if you remember last time I was here, I was doing the facial filter stuff and um, advertising with that, which we, I think we changed advertising with Pink Tank. And with this company, I mean, it, it lays in the virtual real estate because... You know, our big things that we're going to introduce in the world is called beacons, where we really imagine we could drop a 3D rendering of a Dunkin' Donuts logo in the middle of Times Square, and you can walk by and see it, touch it, and buy everything right from there in that space. So there's all a of this plan. can spring out of out of Moji. 100. percent We're going to be me media, all kinds of stuff. Absolutely. All right. So uh, I read that Ed Reed put some money into he this. Did. Yes, he yes. did. Uh, you know, it's it's, uh, it's he's doing Angel. He, of course, Ed Reed for the folks who don't remember, he played with the Ravens, right? He was he was uh, he's amazing a amazing guy. He was a Hall of Famer, Hall of Famer. He's a player. And I got Rob Wise. Um, he's the, my creative director. He was he Rob Rice. He was involved with Entourage, Ballers, American, uh, 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 How to Make um, Make It in America, yes. which my son loved. He said they, they canceled it too soon. Awesome and he's show. The, he's the creative director. We got creative director. We've got some really. I got PMK BMC on the team. I've got a great bunch of great programmers. I've got right. the Cash Money team involved. I, you know, Scott Bruschetta, who's got Taylor Swift, Roscoe Flatt. Let me ask you, Rob, though, you're, you're, as a business person, uh, you've got these endorsements. You've got Nike. You've got Monster. You've got Visa. You've got Capital One, JetBlue, uh, DraftKings. Uh, that's huge. I mean, look at those, all of those things on the board. When you came in, one thing I was wondering, when you cut these deals, because I know one thing Michael Jordan did, he cut long-term deals, like 20, 25 years. Are you cutting long-term deals, and are you asking for a piece of the action? Hey, guys, give me some stock options. Uh, yes. I mean, it's all yeah, depending on what's presented. Uh, definitely, whenever you have a chance to get a piece of the stock option, you always want to look into that. That's huge. That can be something down the future that will last for a lifetime. So uh, whatever the options bring to the table, you want to lay them out and see what it's all about and go from there. I feel like you have one of the more, most unique personalities in the league because you're, yeah. you're, no, you're an elite player, but you are so down to earth. People really love you. Even, listen, people are tweeting me who said they will never watch the NFL again, but they're going to peak at the interview. We literally <laughs> got, in New York, we got a police escort to here because we was about to be late. Really? Absolutely. I believe it. It was I amazing. It. it was wild. But, but there is a big difference, though, Rob, you know, endorsing products and being a company owner or co-owner. You're making a big leap. You ready for that? Yes, uh, that, that's what I'm talking about. I like that. I like that big leap. You always want to take it to the next level. You got to start somewhere, uh, starting from my rookie season, and you just always want to move up. You want to keep on making those uh, positive steps forward, man. Anything you're looking at next, or is it too early to tell? You uh, must get flooded with all kinds of offers. Yes, you get flooded at all, all the time. You just want to see what fits you best, uh, fits you best, your personality, what you like doing, and this one just, Moji, it just fits per, uh, perfect with me and, and my lifestyle for sure, but uh, you got to lay them out and, and choose, and, but really, what's next? Football season, got to finish that out, and then we'll go from there. All right, let's talk about it. You guys got a bye week right now, but you're on a roll. Uh, you're doing extremely well. I don't know. How, you, you guys like, like starting off in a hole. 
<laughs> is that you guys so comfortable it, it, now? You it, give them two it, touchdowns. It happens. <laughs> I, it happens. We we started a few times. How are you uh, feeling overall? Because the league has taken some bumps this year. You think as the as the season goes on, maybe it'll start to rebound here a little bit. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's the NFL. I mean, there's so many great players out there, so many good teams, and uh, it's just a lot of fun to watch. I mean, I'm a big fan. Watch watch a lot of games when I'm not playing. Uh, but, I mean, can't wait. By week, though, by weeks are crucial, man. You get your body feeling right. You yeah. get some downtime. You get away from the game a little bit because you're there well, all the time. You've been getting hurt a little bit lately. Uh, you know, I mean, initially you were like an Iron Man, but everyone gets started to break down in the league. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's the, it's you, it's football. You see how the games play. There's contact every single play. <laughs> right. They say it's a car crash every single play, basically. Especially for those linemen. Real quick, I know you're uncomfortable, but the kneeling thing. Mm. And then, yeah. I mean, just I, I'm not trying to put you in an awkward position, but I know that there, you, everyone has to hope there's some resolution on this when the season is over, one way or the other, right? Uh, uh, yes. I mean, as a team, we just stick together. Uh, we've talked about it as a team, actually, and uh, we stick together. Uh, we're sticking together as a team, and uh, that, that's just as a team we discussed it, and right. that's what we just move forward as well, for the rest of the year. I want to say congratulations, man. You are really, really doing it. Uh, Thank you. You've got you, all man. these endorsements. You're a, bi you're, you're a businessman now. Your team is unstoppable again. Appreciate uh, it. Um, you know, the Jets fans in here aren't happy about it. <laughs> hey, I, they had a win last night. Can, can, we, can we use Moji to at least make our own NFL reality? Can, can, I, can I make a Jets team that is 6-0 and and can beat the New England Patriots every time? I don't know if I'd allow that to happen in New England. But, <laughs> you probably got uh, it built into the code that that can't happen. All right, guys, thank you both. Thank you so very, much for having much. us, man. Really yes, appreciate man. it. Thanks, Lockie. No, thank you, man. Appreciate right. it.